All right. Therefore, I'd like to call the order the City of Isani City Council meeting for Tuesday, June 18th. If we can all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. members are present. Ms. Wood, do we have an agenda modification? Yes, Mayor and Council, good evening. We do have an addendum for this evening, and the addendum includes that we will be adding um, for the consent agenda, we have a revision of K2, which is authorizing the acceptance of IT contract services from White Bear IT Solutions, and this includes a 90-day termination clause from what was previously in the, in the packet. We have deleting K9, which was offering the full-time position for the Public Works Technician 2 position. We are adding K9, which would be resolution offering the position of Assistant Finance Director to Pamela Dahlheimer, and we are adding K10, resolution temporarily increasing hours to full-time for Deputy City Clerk and Human Resources, Jaden Moore. I have a motion to accept the changes by Councilman Lundy. Second. And a second by Councilman Collison. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same side. Therefore, motion carries. We have a presentation of the 2019 ISANI ambassadors and candidates that are present. Ladies, if you'd like to step forward, please. We do have the current ICN ambassadors with this year's contestants as well, correct ladies? If you maybe want to introduce yourself, say a little something. Oh, 
Give these ladies one more round of applause. Thank you, ladies, for the talk, the photo, and again, wonderful job at the luncheon today. Three current ambassadors, you guys were great today. Moving forward, uh, approval for city council minutes from June 4th, 2019. Motion to approve by Councilman Collison, second by Councilman Mundine. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Therefore, motion carries. Announcements. Park and Recreation Culture uh, Board meeting Tuesday, June 25th at 6 p.m. City Council meeting Tuesday, J July 2nd at 7 p.m. with an EDA meeting immediately following that City Council meeting. Business items. Resolution for 2019 approving special event permit for the North 65 Chamber of Commerce for the parade and Jubilee Days. Yay. It's that time of the year again, fellas. Mayor Phelps, I'm going to ask that uh, Melissa and Dave come up and they can maybe share some highlights or things about the special event this year with the uh, Mayor Council, please. Uh, Mayor and Council, I'm Dave England. I'm the chair of the event. One of the big event highlights this year is the uh, outhouse race. It's actually the 30th annual. And the guy that's been, a couple years ago we started a junior division, so we're trying to get the, some of the kids to be involved too, as well as the, the regular division. Two different sets of trophies, the whole nine yards that uh, the guy makes all of them and makes all of the trophies every year for, from the beginning. He has made the first, second, third place trophies ever since the beginning 30 years ago. Awesome. I've never seen those. Do they have people in toilets on those too? Uh, they've got a framed, it's a framed whole setup. It's a wood wood statue that he makes out of wood that's anywhere from two feet tall. Oh, it's handcrafted? It's handcrafted. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, they're pretty nice looking trophies. I look Every year they make them a little different, so you never know what they're going to look like. Surprise, it's even yep. bigger yet. Oh yeah. Awesome, I look forward to it. Miss, uh, Miss Melissa, do you have anything you'd like to add, young lady? I just want to um, say thank you to everyone in the community that makes this happen. It is truly a community event. We have volunteers like Dave, who's been involved for years and years, um, others as well. There's just a, a variety of community organizations um, that come together with, and of course the rodeo happening as well. So I just wanted to recognize all those people and say thank you. We're looking to, uh, we're gonna be counting the number of attendees at the parade this year again. And uh, we would be looking for some volunteers who'd like to help us out just ahead of the parade beginning. Um, and we always have other ways um, I mean, for people Isn't a to- tradition to Home. I'm in. We've only done it once before, so I wouldn't know if we have a championship yet. But uh, but we all and we always have other ways for people to help from small things to you know being super involved as we have for for many years. So um, we have also today if anyone is interested, we've got the schedule of events and a poster. 
just to be sure that everyone in town knows about it. So information is posted on our Facebook page and on our website. And we just look forward to um, having a great time here July 11th through the 14th in ICA. Awesome. I thank both of you for your hard work and due diligence in this project. Uh, it's always been something positive for myself and my children to attend. So thank you for the hard work you two do. Yes, thank you. Thanks. I make a motion to accept. Second. I have a motion to accept from Councilman Lundin and a second by Councilman Bergley. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. 5 0. Motion carries. Resolution for 2019 approving of special event permit for Fire District Rodeo, which we do have three firefighters in attendance. Do you want them to step forward and say something, Ms. Wood? Yes, I would. Gentlemen, step forward to the podium, please. All these gentlemen are I see any residents, too. Oh, yeah. If you could share something all at once here. I'd like the sweet place. I'm kidding. I go to it every year. This is a remarkable event that you guys put on. Uh, let's hope nobody gets hurt or gets thrown in the crowd this year, but you know, it happens. You know, thank goodness for firefighters and paramedics everywhere at this event, but um, I look forward to your guys' way you guys work hard at that event too. It's like a sleepless weekend for you guys. One thing is you guys don't remember, you guys weren't even around for it. The road used to be held where, uh, where the old bus garage was. The original rodeo was held. That was a tiny rodeo then. Yeah. Bus garage. Yeah, that's yeah. where the bus right across from the fire station. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every year we did that. We gained out for us to donate the bleacher boards just to use for the rodeo. So a week before the rodeo, we got to go out and unload all the trucks, put all the bleachers in. And after the rodeo, we'd spend another three nights taking them all down. And they turned into trusses after they were done. It's a good event, good establishment. Uh, been a staple here for many years. So. All, all, all of the above is, is fantastic. And, and kudos to you gentlemen for putting on a good event, the hard work you do. What if a fire happens? Do you have to leave and go to that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, as long as the town ain't burn it down, I'm good. I make a motion to accept. Motion from Councilman Lundin to accept and a second by Councilman Collison. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same say. I'm going to abstain from this one here, Jeff. So, oh, so I have a four, zero, and one. Councilman Gordon did abstain, and I can explain that he is on the fire district. That's why he's abstaining. I appreciate that, Councilman Gordon. Therefore, motion carries. Uh, number three, ordinance to Repel and replace Chapter 8, Section 3, Rules of Organization and Renumbering, Section 4. Is that Ms. Wood? Council yep. uh, Composite and Election. That is correct. Thank you, Mayor. So, this has been a working document that we've had going on for the last few months. We've had this go to two Committee of the Holes for review and input. And um, originally, why this came to Committee of the Whole was because in reviewing our chapter 8 section 3 we realized in consultation with the attorneys and also with the league that it could be some revising as well as updating for things for clarity just to make sure that um, staff was clear in roles as well as the council members who may be present or new upcoming so um, we have met all the requirements and posted this as an ordinance change nothing has changed in section 4 however there was a renumbering the other thing that we have attached with this item is a resolution adopting supplemental policies to the Chapter 8, Section 3, um, which is provided within your packet. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those. I'd like, I'd like people to understand uh, citizen input on this thing. Nothing has changed in that. It's just not in the verbiage. Correct. As of now, um, it is not, it has not, and at, at, at this point, it's never been reported audioly or videoly um, and that's, that's a lot of that. input. Citizen, citizen yeah, input. input yeah. yeah and that's been uh, you know there's numerous reasons to do it it's, it's 
you know, citizen input is not something that's on the agenda. There's nothing really changed on the agenda except for some spur special requests of non pertinent information to go on the agenda. And if it did go, if it had to come into a committee of a whole, it basically would be off a week, a couple weeks before it would be accepted if it had to go into that. But it by no means is it getting my attention to all anything. No, from what I read, correct me if I'm wrong, but citizen input's not changing any. Um, it's just never been audio video recorded. And then as far as getting on the agenda, uh, you have to, unless a council member immediately puts you on that agenda, you have to go through committee of a whole, and if committee of a whole approves it, then it goes to council, which potentially you could wait some time. But you can go to a council member and get it immediately done, correct? Mayor, you are correct. Yep, I'll address the first one first. Um, the, uh, the citizen input. Since the citizen input are the public input that has been pulled out of the agenda over a year ago or so, it has not been audio recorded, so we are following suit with what's been the practice um, in the last year or plus. And then in regards to um, putting items on the agenda, it was changed way back when. Um, last year when we had committee the whole take place, we did do an ordinance amendment um, to include committee the whole language instead of the DOAC or the uh, finance committee to make sure that that language was in there, but otherwise the process has remained the same. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize the committee the whole, it's all of us as the council that makes would make that decision. Correct. Which, which the public can attend. Yeah, and, and uh, also, it, you know, before it was only a couple people that could make that decision, so it actually is being actually more transparent now than it ever has been. So staff is um, recommending approval of this based on conversations and discussion we've had at Committee of the Whole um, for the ordinance as well as the resolution that's attached. It's pretty much, gentlemen, what we, again, what we had, we've always had. We're just putting it in writing. It's in black and white this way. I'll second. I have a motion from Councilman Bergley to approve and a second by Councilman Gordon. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same side. Therefore, motion carries. Approving the consent agenda. I have a motion to accept. I have a motion from Councilman Lundin to accept the councilman agenda and a second by councilman collison all in favor say aye aye opposed same sign therefore motion carries the consent agenda is approved do i have a motion to adjourn i have a motion to adjourn, I have a motion to adjourn by councilman lundin and a second by, second by councilman Bergley. all in favor say aye aye opposed same sign motion carries therefore we stand adjourned